very emotional with it. What you want to be training is that, it's that first step quickness, or that, that, that start. If you're a sprinter, it's like your starting block. That's what this is here. And so, really important things of it is that obviously the hands and feet need to work together. It doesn't want to be like this. That's a labor thing. What it is is that each entry is quite dynamic. There. Like that, okay? What is also really important is that my partner's a good partner, okay? If he's a bit of a sandbag and he's not being active, it's like we put a sort of dead training. If he's like not really into it, okay, then he's, uh, he's not giving me the correct reaction. An Auckland judo squad came down and chained with us in Canterbury. It was a privilege to be a part of this camp. We are really fortunate that we are able to train like this without any restrictions. The first session started on Friday evening from 7 to 8.30. The next morning, the session started from 9 to 11 and in the afternoon, the session started from 2 to 4. When you bring a slate, jump into a cold pool, right? When you jump into it, then it's not too bad. If you dip your toe and try and go in, oh, I hate the cold, so that's why that's for the first hand. That makes it harder. So what I'm trying to say is that when we get warmed up, we're going to do a really good, fun warm up, okay? Don't dip your toe in, just get straight into it. Okay, what was our theme for yesterday? Make the most of the moment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Today's theme is accept what is. Okay. So accept the fact that you're sore, accept the fact that you're tired. Also accept the fact that in a number of hours you'll be on a plane back to Auckland. Okay? So make sure that you get the most out of it. <clears throat> Pick those hard rounds today. This morning's session is going to be a, um, a quite an intense um, start and then quite an intense finish, and quite an intense middle. It's not just quite an intense end. No, uh, we're going to basically warm up doing um, something that Elliot and I did in Brazil, or a, a variation of that, which is basically, it's how they would run a Uchikomi session. But before we do it, I'll just explain what you're trying to do with it, okay? Really, really important. One thing I, I want to just point out real quick, last thing I'll say is that when we're doing drills, don't do drills with the mindset of, I want to save myself a render later on. Okay, remember you want to be going into that randori a little bit fatigued, okay, a little bit, dare I say, relaxed with it, because then you're going to get more out of that randori. If I just sandbag, 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 go on randori, then I go against, um, let's say, Jimmy who's done like, you know, all the sessions, worked hard, and I'm throwing them around, yeah, it fills my bucket, but it's not actually about to be beautiful. You get what I'm saying? So when we do the drilling stuff, it's going to be intense, it's going to be hard, you're going to wonder if there's an end in sight, but just get it done. Okay, and then when we get to the randori, we're doing what's called tate, which is basically one, you know, a few people get out in front for 10 minutes with fresh partners the whole time. Okay, so that's going to be quite a good mental challenge as well. What a trouble we love is. What a trouble we love is.